follow us to stay updated on debates, discussions, facts and tips about health. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon for latest updates. As we come together for today's discussion, it is crucial to highlight the importance of understanding diabetic nephropathy or diabetic kidney disease, a condition that possesses significant challenges for individuals living with diabetes. Despite its prevalence, many remain unaware of its implications, which underscores the need for increased awareness and education on the subject. Knowledge about diabetic nephropathy is not only beneficial for healthcare professionals, but also for patients and their families, as it can pave the way for proactive health measures and informed decision-making. By fostering a deeper understanding of this condition, we can empower individuals to engage in meaningful conversations about their health. Today, let's explore the significance of being informed about diabetic nephropathy and how awareness can positively impact the lives of those affected. Welcome everyone, I'm Dr. Somya Saluja from Hip Media and today to help us explore the significance of this condition for individuals fighting with diabetes. We are joined by the esteemed health expert, Dr. Amit Gupta. Dr. Amit Gupta is a distinguished leader in the field of diabetes care, renowned for his clinical expertise and academic contributions. With an unwavering commitment to advancing diabetes management, Dr. Gupta has significantly impacted both patient care and diabetes advocacy. Clinically, Sir has made remarkable strides through his role as the medical director at the Center for Diabetes Care in Greater Noida, where he combines innovative research with compassionate care to offer personalized treatment plans tailored to each patient's specific needs. Sir's involvement with the prestigious organizations such as the American Diabetes Association, the IDF Southeast Asia Regional Council, and the Research Society for the Study of Diabetes in India underscores his leadership in promoting diabetes awareness on a global scale. Dr. Gupta's work with these organizations reflects his dedication to improving patient outcomes and addressing the growing global burden of diabetes. In addition to his clinical practice, Dr. Gupta has contributed significantly to diabetes education. He serves as the executive director for authoritative texts, including Sadikot's International Textbook of Diabetes and the forthcoming RSSDI Textbook of Diabetes. Serves editorial work helps shape future medical professionals and enhances knowledge dissemination in the field. Dr. Amit Gupta's multifaceted contributions to diabetes care, education, and advocacy has earned him widespread recognition, establishing him as a beacon of excellence and leadership within the medical community. So his ongoing efforts continue to inspire advancements in diabetes research and improve patient care globally. Uh, Dr. Amit Gupta, Tip Media welcomes you, sir. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar, sir. And thank you so much for your time today. Uh, uh, sir, we understand that diabetic nephropathy, or uh, in common language, mein diabetic kidney disease, bhi bolte hai. Uh, it is a very critical condition uh, for individuals who are struggling uh, with diabetes, right? And uh, yet many may not fully grasp its significance or the need for proactive management of that condition. So to address this concern, I will be starting this discussion with a very basic question. Okay, what is diabetic nephropathy and how does it affect the kidneys of people with diabetes? Uh, first of all, thank you, Somia. And I would like to congratulate uh, the Healthy Indian Project uh, for taking this very, very important topic in, for discussion in this webinar. Uh, thank you, Somia. Just to begin with, uh, what is diabetic nephropathy or uh, what is diabetic kidney disease? So when a person is having diabetes for a longer time and uh, the blood glucose levels are uncontrolled, 
this elevated glucose levels actually causes damage to the kidney cells, which we call nephrons. And okay. uh, this damage to the structure of the kidney uh, leads to complications like the kidney loses its ability to purify the blood. So we know that one right. of the main important things in the kidney is to purify the blood. And all the right. waste products, especially the nitrogenous waste products, which are the byproduct of the protein breakdown, they are excreted by the kidneys only. Right. So uh, what happens is that when the kidney loses their ability to purify the blood, the will notice that there is a rise in the serum creatinine level, there is rise in uric acid, there is rise in urea levels. And this uh, declining ability of the kidney to purify blood is called diabetic kidney disease or diabetic nephrotic. Right. This is uh, only the one part of the diabetic kidney disease. Other is that when a kidney purifies blood, what happens is that the, the proteins in the blood do not pass in the urine. The kidney blocks right. the passage of the healthy proteins in the urine. So, right. because of the diabetes or the high blood glucose levels, the kidney loses this ability and a person starts passing more protein in the urine and this is called albuminuria. Okay. So, so there are two uh, things happening simultaneously. One is there is loss of ability to purify the blood. At the same time, there is a loss of ability to uh, uh, stop the passage of the proteins in the urine. Okay, great. And uh, like you've just mentioned that the individual who's going through this uh, complication called diabetic kidney disease, you know, is uh, usually losing the ability to purify the, the, the blood, right? So uh, how can such an individual recognize the initial signs of uh, this particular kidney damage? See, uh, most of the time, uh, the kidney damage will be happening slowly and gradually. So okay. the, one, the most important thing is that you sh uh, the person should be having a good glucose control. Right. Uh, so uh, uh, getting a kidney disease, sometimes you may be having edema, passing adequate urine, there may be decrease in urine out the urine flow. And the person may be experiencing swelling in the feet. There may be swelling below the eyelids. These are some okay. of the symptoms. Sometimes there can be darkening of the skin. And uh, a person may not be feeling very energetic, lethargic. So these are the, some of the symptoms, but they are not always found consistently. The best okay. thing is to check the kidney function test on a routine basis, at least once a year. And okay. another important test is to check your urine for the uh, secretion of the microalbumin, the proteins. Okay. Right. That is a very, very important test. So these two tests must be conducted annually in all the patients who are having hyperglycemia and diabetes. Okay, right. And uh, do core morbidities such as the blood pressure and cholesterol levels play a role in the development of diabetic nephropathy? Absolutely. Uh, it is not just the hyperglycemia. If you if someone is having uncontrolled blood uh, pressure, then again, uh, the damage to the kidney will be accelerated. Sometimes high blood pressure alone can be a cause for the uh, kidney failure or the kidney damage. So right. uh, the approach to a patient with diabetic kidney disease is multifactorial. So okay. first is you have a good glucose control, you have a good as well as tight control of the blood pressure. We need okay. to manage the we need to manage the cholesterol levels in a very right. good way. So uh, uh, A B C that is a uh, A one C blood pressure in the cholesterol. So all okay. the three has to be targeted aggressively, uh, simultaneously, uh, protect the kidneys or stop the further damage to the kidneys. Okay, right. And uh, beyond, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the management part, the treatment options uh, uh, for this particular condition, how would you say a doctor uh, would be performing uh, the the management part of diabetic kidney disease? Uh, for me, this is very, very important. Uh, what happens is that most of the patients, they get confused that now they have developed kidney disease. And now there will be, uh, they need to do something and so it is very important to understand that uh, the only uh, things, uh, the only few things which can protect the kidneys or prevent or slow the progression of the kidney disease is only the good glucose control. So you need to optimize your medications for diabetes. Right. So always consult your doctor so that they can uh, uh, make necessary changes so that a person is having a good glucose control. Second right. thing is that measure your blood pressure, as I uh, as I told earlier also. So it's strict blood right. pressure control. A BP of less than 130 by 80 is indicated uh, in people with the diabetic kidney disease. So, sometime adjustment for the medications will be required. Right. Now, if someone is having secretion of the proteins in the urine, then we have drugs which can be used specifically in this population. Uh, like we have ACE inhibitors and the ARBs, uh, which most of the doctors are using. And then we have MRAs also. 
So now the drugs are available, which can actually slow the uh, process of uh, this uh, uh, albuminuria and actually okay. reverse this process of albuminuria also. So these are the drugs. And uh, sometimes you need to monitor your potassium levels and okay. sometimes you need to monitor your creatinine levels also. And uh, there are some dietary changes which will be required. So most of the time the patient will be asked to avoid foods which are uh, rich in potassium. So we want to have a diet which is not very rich in potassium. Okay, right. And uh, would you say that if uh, uh, the condition of uh, diabetic kidney disease is not uh, dealt on time or is not handled, does uh, uh, the condition increase the risk of other complications such as uh, heart disease or vision problems? Yes, yes. Uh, this is absolutely true. Uh, because most of the pe uh, people who have diabetic kidney disease, they are at very, very high risk of having coronary artery disease. So, as you have diabetic kidney disease, ho jati hai, they have unko diabetic heart disease, for example, coronary artery disease, hone ka ho jata hai. at Jee. the same time, when we identify any patient with uh, diabetic kidney disease, identify karte hai, retina is the first thing to see. Because diabetes ka asar ye mana jata hai ki retina is the first thing to see and Jee. So, if we uh, have uh, kidney disease, rahe, there are good chances that retina will be damaged. Okay, right. And you have told me that the kidney function test, uh, particularly diabetic kidney disease, we have to take an annual uh, checkup, to usme lena hi chahiye, which is mandatory. Uske ilawa, sir, kya koi aisi recommended guidelines that we have to monitor kidney health. Ko monitor kar sake? Kidney health को monitor करने के लिए जो guideline है वो testing से ही possible है uh, because there is no other way जिससे कि आपको kidney function के बारे में पता चल सके तो बिना testing के तो kidney function के बारे में uh, हमें उसके बारे में पता लगाना संभव नहीं है तो guideline से ही suggest करती है कि अगर आपको diabetes है तो नियमित तोर पे अपना kidney function suggest करें kidney functions को monitor करें protein का secretion urine में जरूर test करें और जी. अगर आपके फिजिशियंस को लगता है कि अगर आपका अल्ट्रासाउंड कराने की जरूरत है तो अल्ट्रासाउंड भी कराते हैं अगर जब भी किडनी की कोई भी इशू सामने आ रही होती है तो ये कुछ टेस्ट है जो हमें देखना होता है और कई बार इनडायरेक्टली भी पता लगता है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर डायबिटीज के कुछ पेशेंट्स हैं सडनली वो लगता है कि हीमोग्लोबिन लेवल उनका ड्रॉप कर रहा है तो किडनी एक हार्मोन सिक्रीट करती है जिसको एरिथ्रोपाइटिन बोलते हैं तो वो ब्लड सिंथेसिस में भी हेल्प करती है तो एक फेलिंग किडनी से एरिथ्रोपाइटिन बनना कम हो जाता है जिसके कारण से uh, sometimes patient ka jo hemoglobin level hai drop karne lagta hai uh, sir inke ilawa kya koi abhi recent developments hue uh, that could help us uh, improvise the management of uh, diabetic kidney disease particularly in india aur uh, kya ye treatments jo log rural areas mein rehte hain unko available hain uh, drug development mein abhi kuch newer drugs aayi hai uh, jisme ki ek fenaronone naam ki drug hai so हम अक्सर इस्तेमाल करते हैं खास करके उन लोगों में जिनमें प्रोटीन यूरिया की प्रॉब्लम है तो उस केस पे ये ड्रग काफी हद तक हेल्प करती है और प्रोटीन यूरिया को रोकने में मदद करती है और ये ड्रग फ्रीली अवेलेबल है पूरे इंडिया में इट इज अवेलेबल फ्रीली ओके राइट और अब हम बात करते हैं थोड़ा सा हेल्थ लिटरेसी के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में कैन इंप्रूविंग हेल्थ लिटरेसी हेल्प डायबिटिक पेशेंट्स प्रिवेंट और मैनेज दी यू नो दी this complication of diabetic kidney disease better. And uh, okay. what resources do you believe can empower patients to make informed decisions? I think this is a very important thing. Uh, health literacy is very, very important. And health literacy as well as digital literacy. Because Jee. now the most important source of any kind of health information is now the digital medium. Jee. And uh, we know that uh, the digital medium is flooded with information as well as the misinformation. So uh, it is very, very important to identify that which information is correct and which information Jee. is not correct. So uh, I will request the users only to trust those resources which are verified. Jee. Where uh, only the doctors, the qualified doctors, they are talking about the disease and they are giving some information. Because most of the time you will be getting almost correct information from the resources. And if you Jee. find uh, something, some claims like... Uh, हम आपकी किडनी की डिजीज को ठीक कर सकते हैं खराब किडनी को वापस ठीक कर सकते हैं जी तो so, uh, इनमें अपने आप में क्या आप समझिए कि अगर इस तरह की कोई भी चीज अगर मॉडर्न मेडिसिन के पास होगी तो वो आप लोगों को नहीं देंगे तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है समझना कि एडवर्टाइजमेंट में फॉल्स क्लेम्स बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं तो एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स में नहीं जाना है 
राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन आइडेंटिफाई करना भी आज की आज की दुनिया में अपने आप में एक चैलेंज है हेल्दी इंडियन प्रोजेक्ट इज डूइंग वंडरफुल इन ब्रिंगिंग द राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द कंज्यूमर्स टू द डॉक्टर्स फ्रॉम दी ट्रस्टेड डॉक्टर्स टू द पेशेंट्स and there are uh, uh, other resources also now there are many organizations all across the globe who regularly publishes material which is uh, regarding not only kidney disease but all the other aspects of diabetes agar hum india ki baat kare to rssdi ji aap rssdi ki website ko visit kar sakte hain wahan pe you will find information regarding uh, all the complications of diabetes diabetes Jee. india ko follow kar sakte hain to aise bahut sare organizations hai globally like ada esd uh, uh, idf they keep publishing ऑलमोस्ट वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली तो आप उन ट्रस्टेड रिसोर्सेज को फॉलो कर सकते हैं डेफिनेटली दिल्ली इंडियन प्रोजेक्ट के बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेज हैं चैनल हैं वो भी आपको ऑथेंटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलेगी Thank you, sir. And I'm just going to summarize this wonderful session with a very uh, basic question again. Uh, ki can you list uh, or provide us a list with, let's say, some do's and don'ts that you would recommend your patients, particularly the ones who are struggling with diabetes? just to prevent you know this uh, diabetic kidney disease so my message to everyone who is uh, listening to this uh, uh, this uh, session uh, i would like to say that in today's era it is not impossible to have a good control of diabetes right all you need to have a mutual uh, agreement with your care provider all you need to understand what your care provider is giving you and you need to talk about your care so there are lot of options available lot of treatment options are available and if you go and if your healthcare provider will be able to match the right treatment for you right treatment means the requirement of the treatment for example some patient may require only one or two tablets while some patient will require even four shots of insulin in a day so when right. doctor say, says to you that you need insulin please don't delay it most of the time the people are getting patients because they are not managing glucose levels right uh, in a good way right from the beginning so what right. is happening when you have long term uh, diabetes long standing diabetes and uh, your diabetes control is erratic it has never been under uh, good control hba1c has always stayed above 7 7.5 8 9 10 whatever and glucose levels are always on the higher side and the risk of diabetes kidney disease or not just diabetic kidney disease but any diabetes complication increases okay. so uh, if you want to prevent diabetes kidney disease or any complication associated with diabetes i would like to request you that please uh, monitor your glucose levels please uh, uh, regularly visit your care providers so that you can get guidance on your glucose management okay so i think routine monitoring or self care long or under the guidance of your doctor is the key to prevent diabetic complications okay yes. great so on that wonderful note sir uh, we really appreciate your presence with us today and i'm hoping that the enlightening information shared will be valuable to many families out there so thank you so much for joining us it's really been a pleasure uh thank you so much ji thank you okay thank you sir and uh, for more such informative videos please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates thank you once again sir